What I wish people knew before they applied to work. Part. I don't know if I'm going to eventually name them. I think it should be a series I do. That I am a person with a disability. And I'm hiring someone to support me. And that it is a proper job. I offer steady work. I don't mess you about. You have a, you can count on your hours. Um, but that's the thing is that I know that people currently seem to think that there's the, the way that the job works is that workers get to make, name the hours. That's not going to work for me. Um, so, if that is something that's in your head, don't apply, please. If you're like, oh yeah, I really want a steady job, maybe consider applying. Okay, what else? <clears throat> This role is a support position where you need to understand what I say and I need to be able to trust that you can do it. That if I say, this is what needs to be done today at this time, I need you to do it this way for me. If I need to say something that you, I know that like you may not understand why I want something like that. It doesn't make sense to you, but I need you to do it anyway or ask clarifying questions. I need people who can do that. So when I make an ad, that has directions in it, you should follow them. You know, it's like, seriously, the amount of absolutely entitled, thoughtless, unsupportive, demanding responses that I get is just, don't do it. And also, what the heck? Like, someone told me I needed to be realistic. It was pretty implied what he meant. I needed to be realistic that people aren't going to just simply know to be different. To disabled people. So I wish before you applied for me, you knew that that's not an acceptable frame of mind to have when you're applying for me. Nor is it really for anyone, right? Taking advantage. A lot of you are. Anyway, what else do I wish you knew before you applied for me? I'm a human being who has to deal with a lot of other human beings in a way that is pretty interesting. You are a human being who has to deal with a lot of human beings. From a really interesting perspective, we have different experiences. Your job is to support me in my life. We do not have equal roles. It's my life, it's your job. Those are distinct. I am not here to entertain you. If I'm not talking to you, there are many things you can do to be supportive of me. Don't. I don't want people to apply for me the kind of fear of the mindset to be like, it's all done. I just really want people who are solid, you know, like I've got two really good workers right now. It's making it harder to deal with all, how poor the responses I've gotten are. Like, I know what I want, I know what I need. I know it's possible, but I don't know how to get through all of these encounters with people who are 
when I say I don't use the phone, I'll set up a Zoom meet. First of all, who started dictating to me what's going to happen? No. Just don't. Who the fuck do you think you are? Also, don't call me Jenny. I'm your potential employer. Don't start trying to infantilize me. Also, I don't go by Jenny. If you do feel that we're really getting along, Jen would be appropriate. But when you have not even seen or heard my name ever being uttered as Jenny, it is inappropriate of you to come back with that. It's, it's a move. feel that lighten up coming out and it's like <sighs> I would like I want to lighten up and once I get a good worker hired it'll be a lot lighter I'm still looking at the fray and yes you're probably the fray <laughs> but you you're why I'm still trying go ahead Not you. <laughs> or you. Or you, or you, or you, or you, or you, or you. But you. Go ahead and apply. I wish that you knew that as a support, you are there to be supportive. So when you're applying for the position, if I say I don't use the phone, and I say, I'll send you the Zoom link. And you say, I don't use Zoom. And you hit me up with your phone number. You will not get the job. If you don't have the ability to provide a robust side of your conversation that is, in fact, supportive of the fact that I'm First of all, I'm talking to a lot of different people. I don't always remember who the hell you are. So, that, but even if I was like, I might not anyway. Okay. So like as part of my daily thing, like I'm, I do have memory issues. I am consistent with memory over time. So don't try to fool me, but like you can be supportive of me and my memory issues. Like when you're applying for me, you can say this, sum it up, remind me what, who it is that you are, what it is that you have to offer why where we left off what your availability is you know but more most importantly how about you try to get the job like the people who have been applying or contacting me don't seem to really want the job they seem to have want some other job they keep telling me what their job is i mean i had someone been telling me what he was gonna do and I'm like <laughs> first of all stick is not gonna cut blood with me I you might hear me fling around some jargon because I am very much a policy type person but I'm not just slinging it around okay and if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about don't start with me um, but yeah, so like you think you have something to offer, what the fuck if I didn't ask, you know? Like maybe have that in your back pocket because you're like, oh, you know, so I might even be able to let her know. I'm actually this like really amazing kind of thing, but like don't you go in here telling me what you're going to do. No, you don't get the job. Even though I really do need to fill out this, my, my schedule, like, no, and that's not going to work. If you're irritated by me having an interview process, then you're not getting the job. I am not hiring somebody who I haven't actually vetted. Okay? So, expect that you are going to have a process. 
an interview being the very bare minimum of that. I may ask for references. If I ask for references and you come back to me and you tell me that you don't want to expose your clients, good, you aren't allowed to. But that's not what a reference is, is it? References are consensual. All right. And just know that it, I'm see right through it. Um. Yeah, you're going to make mistakes. Yeah, I understand that. But you better be showing me how you're going to try to fix it, right? Like, don't. It's not like, oops, oops, oops. It's like, oh oops and I'm gonna figure out what it is I did wrong and I'm gonna learn how to do it right because I'm trying to be supportive of this person I values life I mean you're meant to value me if you're going to work for me that's the other thing I don't don't apply if you think it's going to be a drudge I want a good life I don't want people in here making it not good Your job, my life. If you do judge me, consider before you speak. But if you're judging a lot, you should speak. You're probably wrong. So far. My experience is that especially in the first few weeks, the kinds of things that the nervous, uninformed new people come up with tend to be very interestingly not anything to do with me. I'm pretty patient. I'm not here with that patient with people who act like with their discomfort with not having a lot of confidence about what to do and things but that's that you'll, it'll come but don't make the mistake of your lack of self-confidence and what it is that you're doing due to lack of lower information don't make the mistake of thinking that means there's nothing to do or that I or judging me for not providing you with that information, how about you try asking me for that information? You need to be able to talk to me. You need to be able to ask me. You need to be able to, yeah, this is an interesting one. You need to be able to talk to me, the one that you can see is quite articulate now, and also cope with the fact that sometimes I'm not. And when I tell you that I can't read your text right now, and if it's you need me to come and talk to me, if it's so necessary, I'm gonna about to say it here. Um, if you know, like one minute I can, the next minute I don't, I can't. It's the way it goes. So like, don't start judging me that you see. Oh well, she can do that. I don't need to be supporting her with that. No, that's not how it works. You need to do the base things that help me keep going, but you need to be available to me. So if I'm not talking to you very much, it's also probably the case that I have to figure out how to deal with you. So if you start treating those moments as if, oh, I don't even do anything, or I don't even know anything, I don't get around to asking you to do the cool shit. Okay, so just really think about that. Think about that you won't know anything in your first few weeks. And you will have to be careful. It, might, it will be awkward. I'm not going to want to deal with you very much. A new person and you're, you're going to make my life difficult. <laughs> just the way it is. 
Yeah, if you can just show me that you have like some kind of respectful approach to that, that would be a bonus. Any kind of demonstration of wisdom, like you can experience there. Mm -hmm. Common sense, plus plus. You have to be able to carry 24 kilo folded wheelchair. Pick it up, put it in the van, take it out of the van, set it up. You have to be able to be someone who can be a guide. I, either whether I'm, whether I'm walking or using my chair, I still need it. Somebody to help me navigate. You need to be able to be respectful. What was it that my worker said that she liked the way I put it? I remember there was a sign. I think I said it was something like I said that she needed to be able to see it as adapting between. Sometimes I needed her to lead the way, not forgetting that she's leading me. Sometimes I needed to have her have my back so that. I'm doing things, but when I need support, she's there. Sometimes I need her to be at my side because I'm able to do things, but I'm needing constant support. So these, that's, that I, she said that was a really important thing to her when I said that. So there, I've documented that. Um, Say what you mean, what you say. Don't try to impress me. I, will, I might be impressed, but don't try to impress me. Just be you. I like people that are who they are. Maybe I should give a crib sheet. Things you shouldn't say answers to my screening. I don't want to give it. I don't want to give you the answers that just said bullshit anymore though. Oh, let me put it this way. When I ask you what brings you into the world of disabilities, please don't answer the way you think I want you to hear. I want you to answer. Answer how you got into the world of disability. Okay, that's the right way to answer. You start answering, I really wanted to help people have independent lives. Blah, 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 blah. We'll give you another chance, but like, it's not a good sign to me, okay? That you are in that. It's not a good sign, okay? Um, if you feel insecure with yourself, I can handle that a bit. You gotta get over it. So if you're like, well, I don't know what to do, I don't, of course, you have to just let me. But, like, be patient because I don't always, like, have to do all this, you know? So. I don't know where I was going with that, so I'm just going to skip to the next one. Got a bullet point list in my head. It's kind of loose, loosely formed. I would like you to know to arrive on time. I don't mean be early. Never be early, never be late. If you're going to be late, make sure you tell me before you should be there. As well in front of you, you know, if you're running late with traffic, pull over, text. You should make it before you were meant to be here. Because it spares me a great deal of anxiety. It shows respect that you're genuinely trying to be here, etc. Do not answer questions about me. To random people when you're supporting me. 
it takes me sometimes a while to get to that one. So I wish people knew beforehand because it's really important on the bat. I always like tend to be like, oh, right. Don't do that. And I don't want to have to be, it really pisses me off. I would never do that. Some people forget themselves. They think, I'm in a position, I'm a professional support worker. Some of these ask me about doing, okay, yes, I'm a pro no, I am, I am your boss. You are supporting me, but you don't speak for me unless I ask you to speak for me. You keep my privacy protected. And if possible, increase my feelings of security and respectful support, okay? If that makes sense, right? Don't come and work for me if you have expectations. I'm in an interesting part of my life right now. Like, you're not going to get that. Everyone who's worked with me so far for a long time, I have, I have said that they, they valued working with me, so. That's not it, but it's just that like a lot of workers have this idea. Oh, but I want to be seeing progress. Well. Then learn to look. Especially when I have a downturn, when I get unwell, like that's really my least favorite time to have new people because they get bored. You shouldn't be bored when I'm unwell. You should be working your ass off to help me get better. Okay. That I wish everyone knew. Know that you're my support, not my children's support. You should know that you should not talk to other people in my like in my family. I have compromised in problematic situations in my life. Do not be the hole that allows people to manipulate you, me, by you. I know, but I do. I wish people knew that before they started to have anything to do with me. Know that if you start making <coughs> Do not speak for me. Do not represent yourself as representing me. Do not overly claim an affinity or an attachment to me. Do not promise me that you will be there. No matter what, do not promise me anything apart from making agreements about normal working conditions and everything, schedules. And, you know, if you say, yes, I promise I will be there for this unusual shift, that would be appropriate. Fine, so long as you fucking show up. A promise is a fucking promise. It's bond, right? Don't promise me you'll never let me down. Do not promise me you'll always for me. First of all, it's weird. It's inappropriate. And no, you won't. Just do what you're meant to be doing. Let's go. When I, I wish that people knew that when I can't speak well, that doesn't usually correlate with a downturn in my cognition. But I do have downturns in my cognition too. And sometimes they correlate they're together. Right now is not one. I have a pretty clear brain right now. And obviously my mouth is um, not working very well. Nor is my face muscles are all strange. Um, but yet, Sometimes I seem really well, and I'm very not. Um, don't know what to say to you about that, apart from it's called masking. I 
I'm a fucking expert. I don't have any choice over or control, and it's not a good sign if I'm asking that hard. Definitely not if it's because of you. So, yeah, I mean, that's not the end of the world if you think that you see that that's happening. What that means is that you need to see why, why do you think, why should I think that it's not safe to be vulnerable with you? Because I have all kinds of levels of vulnerability. I have to deal with a lot of people and I have quite a significant issues. <laughs> I wish people knew that they never will really have me figured out. I wouldn't stop trying. I don't like being figured out. I like being understood. I am tired, like... I'm not sleeping. My face is showing the tiredness that I feel about this whole thing. Yeah, and so anyway, I slur. And I'm not on drugs. Um, I have a neurological disorder. Like I said, it's really weird. Cause like I, I like I feel threatened in some way. Sometimes I start speaking so perfectly. Mm. So okay. I also wish people knew that like I sometimes have like profound um freezing whatever call it the catatonia if i'm non-responsive in a way that has it even like so for example like if i'm just like like i, I can make it look pretty cool um <laughs> but if i seem oddly res like non-responsive like in a way that's weird or uncanny like it's because of that it's because i'm fucking frozen okay so like don't take it personally is the main thing I think anything about me personally. That'd be cool. I would like that to stop. I would like to have to stop. Not to have to keep. Like, okay, the thing is, is that um, I'm very sensitive. And so, like, yeah, when you are doing things that hurt me, it, you'll see it reacting. You'll learn to not, um, it happens. But don't, like, forget that that's what you're doing. You're trying to work with me, you know what? Gonna be thinking that I'm I'm not trying to do anything. I'm not like oh that hurts, could you please? I mean it might actually be like that if you're really bad. Typically I'll be like, so could you keep the sound down? I better stop banging the cabinets, like it's really being a bit much. Um yeah, so then if I win, when like you do it again, like overlay from your point. That is not me sending you a message. That is me recoiling in pain. Okay. Oh, yeah. Have good sound on you and have a good camera when if you want it for the Zoom interview. Have a good angle. At least, you know, like, look, put, this is minimal effort. But there's some pleasantness going on here, right? I know to do this like so or like it's like the down camera thing from the in the car. I'm not cool. Don't do that. That's not a great way think for me to see you when I'm starting with Zoom. But really find a good acoustic space. I can hear you better that way. It shows that you want to present. I this is I've had people being so incredibly unsupportive in these interviews and demanding and my time wasting. Like this is just a play time for them. Or don't wait, please don't waste my time. I have a life, it's already hard. Like I need a, a worker, I don't need people trying to meet me or telling me that they really have always wanted to 
put you like not actually trying to have the position like don't do that I'm a person my time is valuable also though like if you want to work for me put the effort in a little bit like make sure I so okay people who are supporting me I have to tell them things like how many times to prompt me so sometimes I'll say prompt continuously and I mean it and I have to encourage people what this means but it's like so I'll give like some parameters but prompt continuously is because I need it I can't keep concentration on something sometimes crapshoot as to whether I will for your application but like so I'm going to go ahead and say, unless I've told you to not, you should prompt continually with relevant information, your availability, when, if I've met you or not, like, you know, if we've already had a meeting and some kind of signify, like if like we, if, I, if I've done the interview, if I haven't done the interview, say like, hey, Jen, I, we still need to set up that interview. This is my availability. Are you still interested in it? That would be a great kind of message. Or, hey Jen, we interviewed like a, a while ago. I, as I said, I'm only available for occasional work, but this is my hours I have currently available for. If you wanted to have, you know, things like that. Like, but like keep doing that. Don't expect me to have to respond. And we're cool. I don't have eyeshadow on. I need it to fill this space. <laughs> Goodbye.